so to kick it off right, we're going to pay respect to Carter G. Woodson and all other soldiers of liberation by standing for Lift Every Voice and Sing.
Marching bands are one of the most recognizable and celebrated organizations at many historically black colleges and universities. HBCU marching bands are often the center of culture on campus and act as important ambassadors for the university off campus. Bands are essential to the HBCU experience and serve as vital cultural features of HBCU life. The band's performances are specifically for black audience with black performances that focus on black music, black culture, and black excellence. For more information, visit Missy's eBrary on the door of room 1001.
the snake is dead. Do not drop the stick. What does that mean? Do y'all know on the side? Until the snake is dead, do not drop the stick. Okay, I'll take, don't let your guard down. All right, Team Warrior, take the shot. Oh, Team Hit, go ahead and take your shot. Okay, I heard anything you can do, you can do better. Anything is possible, you believe. So both teams going to shoot. Team hit, take your shot. Shot guy. Yeah! Team Warrior, take your shot. All right. Next one. Skill is stronger than strength. Skill is stronger than strength. Skill. Skill is stronger than strength. Skill. All right. That's my part. Team here, take your shot. Well, I'm going to get the rest on. On one rooftop alone. It does not rain on one rooftop alone. Ah, uh, you got it. What is it? You never the only person getting the same problem. These juniors are doing it. You better work as a Okay, I'll take that too. All right, team hit, take your shot. represented something, the designs represented something, how you tied your clothing showed your age set, it also showed whether you were single or married, our clothing was our identity, and that's all we needed. So now we have, with Black to Basics, Be You.
Barbershop. Now, for my ladies and my fellas, I know, I don't know about y'all, but I know once I go to the barbershop and I leave, I feel like a brand new woman. Feeling like a million bucks, you can't tell me nothing. All right? So while they getting set up, I'm going to give y'all just a little brief history about natural hair, and then we're going to get started. So Ms. Craddock has already mentioned how, you know, culture and fashion is really huge in the black community but also hair. And the way you style your hair can tell people a lot of stuff about you. They can tell you how old you are. They can tell you your marital class. They can tell you your social economic status and all of that. And it was really, really huge. And then it was, once they start bringing us over on slave ships, they had all the slaves shaved with their hair. So now, I can't see my kid folks. I don't know who you are, all right? So we just want you guys to know that it is your hair. You do what it is that you want to do with your own hair. It makes you feel good. So, but some of y'all probably had been asked that question before, why you cut your hair? Why you got free form locks? Why you ain't comb your head? All right? So to my people that's sitting right here in the barbershop and y'all can see my boy, my son, get it right, okay? What is, how many of y'all have ever been in a situation to where you've been judged by your hair and they thought that you was dirty just because you had freeform locks? And it probably took you back, all right? Now that you didn't think about it, what is it that you wanted to tell that person when they said that you looked a little rat? No. What you want to tell them when they told you your hair was looking a little rat? Man, I'm going to tell them to go do their hair. Is it, their hair greasy as anything. They talking about mine. Mind your business, right? And what about some of my ladies that sometimes just because you want to rock a low cut like me, they assume that you a lesbian. What you want to tell them? Trade my phone. Uh, but they should mind their business. You should ask people that because of hair. And this is a big, big, big one right here. And this is for all my fellas. I don't know how many times y'all done walked out and y'all may have tattoos or you may have a lot and you see that lady clench your purse. You know what I'm saying? Or they start whispering and stuff like that. They just think you a criminal, you know? But the big thing is, we want y'all to know we are not our... First time I saw that Partying back in the day, so all over here, all my teachers right here. Okay, show yourself. 